Hello dear students first of all i welcome you all to the very first session of class 8 chapter 1 rational numbers today we are going to start with the very first topic of part 1 rational numbers let's take a look at the content we are going to discuss under this topic first is rational number definition properties of rational number and under properties as we know there are four properties but in this session we are going to discuss only two properties closure property and commutative property before starting with the rational numbers let's revise our journey of numbers on the onset of our learning journey we first come across the numbers which are there around us that is we used to say we have one nose two eyes etc that is the numbers which we see all around us first is natural numbers all counting numbers are known as natural numbers for example 1 2 3 4 5 5 up to the infinity so we kept them all these numbers in our journey bag and move ahead in our learning journey on the next part of our journey we found zero roaming around so we kept it also in our journey bag now our journey bag contains 0 1 2 3 4 up to the infinity now our bag's name is whole numbers all counting numbers including 0 are known as whole numbers that means 0 1 2 3 4 up to the infinity forms whole numbers as our journey proceeds we came across negative numbers also we kept them also in our journey bag now we name our journey bag as integers all counting numbers with positive and negative signs including zero are known as integers or all negative and positive numbers including zero are called integers that means integers are minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 up to the infinity after some time we found certain numbers which do not come under these categories like minus 1 by 2 1.5 2 by 3 these numbers do not come under the numbers we have studied till now can you guess what these numbers are yes this leads us to the collection of rational numbers so now let's give a pause to our journey and become more familiar with these numbers that is rational numbers now this diagram explains about the constitution of rational numbers rational numbers include all natural numbers whole numbers integers and positive and negative fractions so rational number can be defined as the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 are called rational numbers it includes all natural whole numbers and integers example minus 1 by 2 4 by 3 5 by 7 1 0 2 by 7 these all comes under the category of rational numbers if p and q both are positive then the number is positive rational number for example 7 by 8 2 by 3 in these numbers both p and q that is numerator and denominator are positive can you give me some more example of positive rational numbers yes they are 2 by 3 4 by 5 9 by 5 7 by 9 etc if p and q both are negative then the number is a positive rational number for example minus 23 upon minus 45 gives us 23 upon 45 which is again a positive rational number can you give me some more examples of positive rational numbers yes they are minus 2 by minus 3 minus 4 by minus 5 minus 9 by minus 5 minus 7 by minus 9 and there are many more numbers like this if any of p and q is negative then the number is negative rational number for example minus 4 upon 5 minus 73 upon minus 67 these are the negative rational numbers now can you give me some more examples of negative rational numbers yes they are minus 2 by 3 4 by minus 5 minus 9 by 5 minus 7 by 9 etc now you understand what rational numbers are 
लेट्स डिस्कस द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रेशनल नंबर्स अंडर फोर मैथमेटिकल और अर्थमेटिकल ऑपरेशन सेम एज वी वेरीफाइड फॉर होल नंबर एंड इंटीजर्स इन आर प्रीवियस क्लासेस फर्स्ट वन इज एडिशन ऑफ रेशनल नंबर्स सेकेंड इज सब्रैक्शन ऑफ रेशनल नंबर्स एंड थर्ड मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ रेशनल नंबर्स एंड फोर्थ वन इज डिविजन ऑफ रेशनल नंबर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we discuss about the closure property under four arithmetic operations first one is closure property under addition it says sum of two rational number is also a rational number for example if we take two rational number 1 by 5 and 3 by 5 we get 4 by 5 which is again a rational number now verify this property yourself for two rational numbers minus 2 by 5 and 3 by 7 Yes, you can verify it very well. Minus two by five plus three by seven gives us one by thirty-five, which is also a rational number. Now, next is closure under subtraction. Difference of two rational number is also a rational number. For example, again we are taking two rational number one by five and three by five. When we subtract them, we are getting minus two by five. This is also a rational number. Now verify yourself for rational numbers minus two by five and three by seven. When we subtract minus two by five minus three by seven, we get minus twenty nine upon thirty five, which is again a rational number. Now next is closer under multiplication. Multiplication of any two rational number is also a rational number. For example, if we are multiplying two rational number one by five and three by five, we are getting three by twenty-five, which is again a rational number. Now verify yourself for other two rational numbers minus two by five and three by five. When we multiply these two numbers minus two by five and three by five, we get minus six upon twenty-five, which is also a rational number. Next is closer under division. a rational number divided by a rational number may or may not be a rational number now let's verify it with other two numbers minus 2 by 5 and 3 by 7 and also for 1 by 7 and 0 when we verify it minus 2 by 5 and 3 by 7 when we divide them we get the rational number but when we divide 1 by 7 by 0 we are getting not defined it is not defined for 0 so rational numbers are not closed for division next property is commutative property commutativity under addition it says sum of two rational number is not depend on the order in which they are added for example if we add two rational number 1 by 5 and 3 by 5 in any order then we get the same answer that means if we add 1 by 5 with 3 by 5 we get 4 by 5 and similarly when we add 3 by 5 with 1 by 5 we are getting the same 4 by 5 so we are adding in any order we are getting the same response that means rational numbers do not depend on the order in which they are added now let's verify it for other rational numbers 3 by 5 and minus 2 by 7 left hand side that means when we add 3 by 5 with minus 2 by 7 we get 3 by 5 and plus and minus makes minus so that means 3 by 5 minus 2 by 7 gives us 11 by 35 so we can say if we are taking any two rational number a and b then a plus b is equal to b plus a now next is commutativity under subtraction rational number do not hold commutative property under subtraction now let's verify for 3 by 5 and minus 2 by 7 left hand side that means a minus b that means 3 by 5 minus of minus 2 by 7 it gives us 3 by 5 plus 2 by 7 which gives answer 31 upon 35 right hand side that means b minus a it gives minus 2 by 7 minus 3 by 5 which gives minus 31 upon 35 since left hand side and right hand side both are not equal so rational number are not commutative under subtraction 
Next property is commutativity under multiplication. Two rational number can be multiplied in any order. For example, when we multiply 1 by 5 with 3 by 5 and 3 by 5 with 1 by 5, we are getting the same answer 3 upon 25. Now, let us verify this for other two numbers 3 by 5 and minus 2 by 7. Left hand side that means A multiply by B. It gives 3 by 5 multiply by minus 2 by 7. This gives minus 6 upon 35. Right hand side that means B multiply by A. It gives minus 2 by 7 multiply by 3 by 5. Answer is minus 6 upon 35. So, since left hand side and right hand side both are equal, hence it is verified for multiplication. So, we can say for A and B, two rational number A multiply by B is equal to B multiply by A. Rational number do not hold commutative property under division. Now, let us verify for 3 by 5 and minus 2 by 7. Left hand side that means A divided by B, 3 by 5 divided by minus 2 by 7. It gives 3 by 5 and division get converted into multiplication and we always take reciprocal of 2 by 7 which gives 3 by 5 multiplied by 7 by minus 2 gives us minus 21 upon 10. Right hand side that means B divided by A. In this 2 by 7 is divided by 3 by 5. So, 2 by 7 division get converted into multiplication and we take reciprocal of 3 by 5 which is 5 by 7. Now, let us verify for other two rational numbers 3 by 5 and minus 2 by 7. Left hand side that means A divided by B. It gives 3 by 5 divided by 2 by 7. Now, let us verify for other two numbers 3 by 5 and minus 2 by 7. Left hand side that means A divided by B. It gives 3 by 5 divided by minus 2 upon 7. It gives us 3 by 5. Division get converted into multiplication and we always take the reciprocal of the other number. That means 3 by 5 multiply by reciprocal of minus 2 by 7 which is 7 upon minus 2. After multiplying we get minus 21 upon 10. Similarly, for right hand side when we divide B by A that means minus 2 by 7 divided by 3 by 5. When we divide, we get minus 2 by 7 multiply by 5 by 3. It gives us minus 10 upon 21. Since left hand side and right hand side are not equal, so division is not commutative. We can say for any two rational numbers A and B, A divided by B is not equal to B divided by A. Now, summary of what have been learnt today. First is what are rational numbers? The numbers which can be written in the form of P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0 are called rational numbers. It includes all natural numbers, all whole numbers and integers also. Second one sum of two rational number is also a rational number for example 1 by 5 plus 3 by 5 is equal to 4 by 5. Third, difference of two rational number is also a rational number. For example, 1 by 5 minus 3 by 5 is equal to minus 2 by 5 which is again a rational number. Fourth, multiplication of two rational number is also a rational number. For example, 1 by 5 into 3 by 5 is equal to 3 upon 25. Now, fifth is a rational number divided by a rational number may or may not be a rational number. And sixth, sum and product of two rational number is not depend on the order in which they are added and multiplied. Let us assess our learning. Recall the property under multiplication used in each of the following. First is minus 4 by 5 into 1 is equal to 1 into minus 4 by 5. It gives us minus 4 by 5. So, what is the property? It is commutative property of multiplication. In the second, minus 13 by 17 
into minus 2 by 7 is equal to minus 2 by 7 into minus 13 by 17. What is the property? Yes, it is commutative property of multiplication. We are multiplying in any order, we getting the same response. Third, minus 19 upon 29 into 1 upon 10, it gives us minus 19 upon 290. The property is closer property under multiplication. In today's session, we discussed two properties for rational number. Revise these two properties and verify for different rational numbers. Now the home assignment, verify the closer and commutative property on first is 2 by 5 and 1 by 7, second minus 3 by 5 and 5 by 9 and question number 2, verify that negative of negative x that means minus of minus x is equal to x 4, first is x is equal to 11 by 5, second x is equal to minus 13 by 17. Now this is all from the first session, keep practicing, happy learning, goodbye.